Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Culture with Pat. Got a new video for you guys today. So literally this guy just came in the mail, so I wanted to do a video of him just because I feel like he kind of popped up on the Spirit Halloween website and then disappeared fairly quickly as well. Um, the only reason that I was made aware of him and kept checking back was actually because I'm a member of, it's a Halloween forum, and uh, someone had posted him on there, but for a while it was still showing as sold out. And then finally he went live um, you know, not too long ago, but then he sold out fairly quickly, as I mentioned. So, and I believe, at least from what I've seen, this might be like an online item only. Um, at least like the stores around me haven't really said or said that they weren't getting any of these in stock. So I don't know if you'll be able to find these in stores. Um, and they, it sounds like, I mean, at this point, I would imagine they maybe could get like one more shipment in, but he might be sold out online as well. So, but we will uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this guy and, and you know see once he's all set up. Um, we'll give you a heads up. The box is definitely a little smaller than I thought it was uh, it was going to be. So it doesn't give like dimensions or anything, but you know it just has uh, his face on the side here. Billy Butcherson Groundbreaker. The price, the retail price, I should say, is the seventy nine ninety nine. However, I did not pay that because I did use one of the coupons, which you always want to do when it comes to Spirit, just because, yeah, some of the stuff is a little expensive. Uh, but, yeah, so I used a coupon for that, saved some money on him. Actually, it was like a VIP coupon, um, and I've only seen like one of those, like at least that I've got in my email so far. But without further ado, we'll go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so inside the box, we have, you see right away, see his head right there. And it's, so his head, it almost looked like when you're first like looking at it, it almost looks like his face would be kind of like squishy or something. But no, this is actually like hard, pretty hard like plastic material. So seems like that actually should be pretty, pretty sturdy. Uh, but there is his head. Got some stuff in there. I gotta take that out. Uh, but yeah, there's, you know, what his head looks like. There's a little piece right there that we're going to be connecting to the rest of his body but that is what the head looks like right there back shot of his like his hair but yeah there is billy's head let's go ahead and take a look at everything else all right so here are all of his pieces out of the box give you guys a heads up there's no instructions um, i mean there's only like a couple pieces here but just a heads up so there's his head i think these two pieces are kind of going to be for like the bottom hold them up there is his body that I got to kind of untangle. And there's a another like a metal chrome like piece like right there that's going to, you know, connect everything together. So we will go ahead now and I will get this all set up and then we'll just do uh, I'll show you guys give you an overall review of, you know, what I think of of Billy. All right, guys, so I figured I would actually just show you a quick shot. Let's see if I can get this thing to stay up. Probably not, but um, that little frame piece or whatever that I just showed you the metal um, you know frame that just actually connects to the torso uh, piece right up here you'll see because that right here is actually where the head is going to be going in and then down below there's a part for the uh, for the torso piece to connect to that metal bar so uh, just a heads up gonna go ahead and connect those pieces right there and then these little guys are gonna be going on the bottom all right, so here is Billy Butcherson, and he is all set up and ready to go. So um, it was actually a fairly simple setup, so I can see why they didn't include any directions in the box, because it really wasn't something that was needed. Um, so it's pretty much you just have you have the headpiece, you have the you know his like torso right here, and you have that metal frame that I showed you guys that kind of goes up in there, connects them, and then down below there's two pieces that are you know help him like stand up so that's really all there is as far as assembly goes um so it, it's really not that hard to set up you can set it up in a couple minutes but yeah this is what he looks all together um so as far as do just like a close-up of the face again you know it's like a hard plastic material so i really like that it's not anything cheap that i feel like you know is going to fall apart and I, you know, I think the overall detail I thought is done pretty well. So 
um, you know, the stitches and everything on the mouth. So they did a good job with that. You have, you know, the hair here. I'll show you what that kind of like looks like. So overall, you know, really happy with how like the face and everything looks. Then you have, you know, the rest of the body, the torso, uh, the, don't mind my, uh, my dog barking, but, um, you have, you know, the torso here, he was kind of all contorted, you know, in the box, but you just kind of like unfold them. Um, you know, you have his jacket, it's kind of like this when it first comes out of the box, but you can just to adjust it to, you know, however you want it to look. I tried to have it set up as, you know, as close to the, um, the box as I could. And then you go down here. So I, you know, I like the, the, the material for like the jacket and clothing, I think is, you know, it's pretty solid as well. Um, you go down to the hands and again, zoom in on that for you. It's a hard, you know, plastic material, just like the face. So I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing that I might end up doing is if you take a look at the uh, fingernails, I might end up, you know, dirtying those up a little bit just to kind of give it, you know, the look as if he's coming out of the ground. Um, so that might be something that I add to it. But other, other than that, I'm pretty happy. Only thing that I did notice is that, see like this hand here as well. Um, on this hand, if you can like tell, but his hand is a little bent. I don't know if that is how the, so this is, it'd be him facing me, it'd be the right side, but his hand is like bent. I mean, the good thing is though, is that it is flexible, so it can kind of move a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure if that got like crushed when putting it in the box, but it is able to move. So it might just kind of look like that just for effect, but uh, just giving you guys a heads up that, you know, that could kind of come like that. So, um, and again, just as far as the arms go, um, that you can tell there's like, you know, some foam pieces in here. And when he comes out of the box, you know, his arms are kind of like folded all together because the box isn't huge. Um, so you basically just kind of, you know, move the arms around and kind of pose them however you want them to be set up. But, um, and then I'll kind of show you real quick too, those uh, two bottom pieces that I mentioned. There's the one there. And then the one there, and those are the two pieces that hold them up so he can, you know, stand up. And uh, I was actually kind of worried looking at them first, but they seem to be doing a pretty good job. So overall, I am pretty happy with this prop. Um, this was something that as soon as I saw it, you know, I really had to have it just because I am a big Hocus Pocus fan. And I would say if you're a fan of Hocus Pocus, um, this is definitely a must-add item to your collection. Um, let me know down below in the comments if this is something that you guys even knew was, some, was something that was coming out, or, and if you did, if it's something that you're going to be picking up, what your thoughts are, are on it overall. And as always, guys, just make sure that if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell button, just so that way you get notifications for all my upcoming videos. Really appreciate it, guys, and I will see you soon.